Pochettino has left Chelsea by mutual consent. I pre-recorded a video today, but all effort has gone away, but leave that aside. I told you yesterday as well that the sacking is very near because a disagreement is regarding the power the manager needs in transfer and that was a very big point. Either Pochettino had to agree with uh, Iqbali and sporting directors or he was going to leave the club and there were rumours coming that he will even quit if he doesn't get his way, if he doesn't get the same transfers and is it a surprise? No. But I am absolutely frustrated because I don't know which direction we are going and this time the appointment needs to be right. See, I have been saying for a long time with this ownership and see, I am not going to go on a rant or something here. I am not going to say anything until I see the appointment they make and the result that it gives us. So I am not going to be fully on the ownership here. It's just that I want to see the right appointment and I want this sacking culture to end. The thing with this ownership is it's been very clear which I have been saying for a long time that they want a yes man. They want to make their own signings. They want to sign young players on low wages which they can either use to uh, get their potential which can help the club in the future or sell them for high prices. This is why we are signing every youngster in the world, stockpiling youngster after youngster after youngster and that's the way it's been with this club. So that was only going to work with a yes man. A manager with, uh, you can say, a reputation, a manager with potential will never agree to this. There was always going to be disagreement and the manager was going to leave. You see here, I put the tweet. These are the managers we are linked with and these are the type of managers which are going to come to Chelsea whether you like it or not. Stop your dream of Ducal. Stop your dream of any big manager. That is never going to happen under this ownership. Poch was also a yes man. But when Poch had a bit of like growing in his stature, when Poch was seeing United job being available, Bayern job being available, when Poch was seeing so many jobs being available, he grew some hormones, he grew some energy and then he has eventually been left by mutual consent which we can say a sacking in an amicable manner. And that's going to happen if we get a manager who gets too big for his boot then even he will be sacked and this culture will keep continuing. This culture at this club will only work if you appoint a manager who only considered on his coaching, he respects the board, he doesn't even utter a word and that's the only way it's going to work and this will only work if you appoint upcoming managers like Kieran McKenna, you can say even a Vincent company and I'm telling you, don't put the Vincent company rumours away, he could be the next Chelsea manager as well or even a McKenna. So first of all, coming on to this one, I will say thank you to Pochettino. One thing I have to say, he has made some very bad decisions and I'm not saying he's done a very good job. We could have been in a better position playing Levy Colville as a left back. I understand he was playing Levy Colville as a left back to uh, save the defensive uh, fragilities the team had had. But when the preseason was working, your system was working, you did not need to backtrack upon it. Along with that, his training matters need to be cautioned because the injuries were a lot. But I will have to praise him for bringing the home form back at Chelsea for helping these youngsters, never putting them in trouble in media and at least getting Chelsea back to stability. So thank you and wishing him the best and I wouldn't be surprised he's the next Manchester United manager or he's the next Bayern Munich manager. With Pochettino, he's a manager who for me was still best in the market right now to get this youngster to the next stage, give him his remaining one year and then sack him. But we know with this Chelsea board, now it's going to be our proper fifth manager now in their tenure. So it makes me irritated because I want this sacking culture to end. The players were gelling to the manager, the player loved the manager. Now they're going to get another manager, then another manager is going to fall out and the cycle will continue. I'm not saying if you are a pouch out, you were wrong. I just want to ask you right now in this video, if the next manager gets bad result, will you want him sacked as well or will you give him time? If you are one of those persons who will give the next manager time, fair enough. If you will give manager a time when he shows his system and pattern but he's seventh in the league, fair enough. But if you are one of those persons who even wants next manager sack, the next manager sack, caution yourself. My thing with this board is, I know their ambition and I've understood it. They are not interested in winning Champions uh, League, Premier League. They just want to make a club profitable so they can earn profit in the future. I have no problem. I understand their owners, they want to earn their profit. I fully respect them. If we win trophies along the way, good. If not, no problem. My club is exist. My club was in trouble two years back. I have no problem. You look at FSG, FSG have no desire to win trophies. But what FSG do is they appoint the right people, they give them the right power and Liverpool are successful. Kronkers have no desire to be successful but Kronkers put the right people in charge and they are reaping the reward. One thing I want from this ownership now, whether they bring McKenna, whether they bring Horneb, whether they bring some company is give this manager's time because one thing I am warning you, Todd Bully and Mr. Iqbali that if the next manager comes and impresses here and then he gets too big for his boot, you just can't keep sacking manager after manager after manager because at some point people will say, 
I don't want to come to your club. I don't want to destroy my reputation. So be very careful. If you want this club to be successful, you need to give manager a bit of say and give him player has per his profile. I have no problem. Go for McKenna, a very promising a manager, a very promising individual, just like Graham Potter at some time was. But if you go there, you stack him after two, three bad results, then all the accountability is on you. Bring an ex-manager, bring a McKenna, I am ready to give him time. You just need to give him time, patience and allow him to develop. And for Chelsea fans, you better start understanding that this is a process. You better start understanding that success is not coming anytime soon. You can be happy. Oh, Poch is gone. Come on. But if you think that this is a solution every time, if you think the board is always in the right, I have nothing for you. Hopefully this works. I'm not a Poch fan. I don't give a damn a Poch. You can get away. I love this club. My only thing is the strategy and this culture has to end. If I went over a bit, I apologize, but my frustration is with this culture and where we are going. And whenever we find the stability, we threw it away. These are youngsters, Medioke, Gusto. Palmer is looking experienced, but he's still a young player. You've got Kaiseiro still young. You've got Chukomeka players young. You've got Yuchuku players young. You've got players, a lot of players in this team, Petrovic, Jackson young. And whenever they will find a stability, new manager will come. Euros are going on, small pre-season, and the fans will want immediate results. I don't know how it's going to work. But hopefully the next manager works. Thank you. Wishing you all the best. Thank you.